The Dean, Faculty of Renewable Natural Resources and Immediate Past Head, Department of Aquaculture and Fisheries Management, University of Ibado, Professor Emmanuel Kolawole Ajani, has said that there is need for the government to increase the funding support for research activities that would be tailored towards the industrial need of the people in Nigeria. The professor disclosed this on Thursday, 29th August 2019, while delivering his inaugural lecture entitled Engaging the Fish, Elixir for Nigeria's Self-Sufficiency in Fish Production at the Lakeside Lecture Theatre, Faculty of Science, University of Ibadan, during the 465th inaugural lecture of the university. In his statement, Professor Ajani said, Nigeria is richly blessed with abundant water resources, and these water resources are also richly endowed with floral and final resources. And, despite the fact that we have these resources in abundance, we could not get fish as a food on the table for people's consumption across the nation. Rather, we are even spending our money to import what we already have in Nigeria. Nigeria has water resources in abundance in terms of quality and quantity to support sustainable fish production to meet our ever-increasing food fish need, fishery resources of Nigeria. Nigeria is blessed with a wide range of aquatic resources, which are very rich in flora and fauna. These far endowment of natural, marine, and freshwater fisheries resources in Nigeria could be turned into wealth, thereby contributing immensely to poverty eradication. This is, however, not the case now, as these resources are currently mismanaged. Speaking about what the government needs to do to make fish available for consumption in the country, the first step towards this is that we need to have an information base. We have only one fish in Nigeria that we find almost in our water body, especially in freshwater environment, which is catfish, Clarius garipinus. But up till now, we don't have information or what I will call biological package production package on how to rear this catfish. Apart from catfish, we have one very valuable fish species that people so much love, like Parascana obscura gymnacus niloticus ejauso and tilapia species. They are so abundant in our water body and they are highly valued fish. But today, if anybody wants to go into how to culture them by bringing them from their natural environment, rearing them under artificial environment through aquaculture, we don't have information package, investment package that will have all the biological information, he said. We need to get this information package for the use of the people in the society. That is the thrust of my research, to engage the fish. This we have not done, but thank God, all through my 23 years in the university, I have been able to develop cultural biological package in a more scientific way for culture of Clarius garipinus in Nigeria tested biological package for culture of Paracana Obscura and also we are building the information base for the culture of Gymnacus niloticus. When you have this array of fishes, even when people want to invest into aquaculture, this information will serve as a guideline, Professor Ajani said. The thrust of this inaugural lecture is that we need the nexus, connecting nations to, to make these abundant aquatic resources available for sufficient fish production is what uh, Nigeria needs to address and that has uh, been the focus of my research. He stated that there is need for the Nigerian government to increase the funding support for research activities that would be tailored towards the industrial need and what the people need in the society. He further stated that the support should be provided for development of aquapreneurship innovation incubation centers that are tailored to the specific national economic development goals. In this regard, the University of Ibadan Fish Farm is playing significant roles. Professor Ajani strongly appealed to the university management to remain unwavering in its support to the fish farm by committing more fund support, especially for the running of the farm. Only 30% of the fish farm facilities are currently being utilized due to grossly inadequate funding. The farm will efficiently play its role as an innovation incubation center in economically beneficial manner if the needed support is provided, he said. 
Also, as a critical step in putting into reality Nigeria's desire to be self-sufficient in fish production and making fisheries and aquaculture a major contributor to the nation's gross domestic product, GDP, it is necessary to draw a national fisheries and aquaculture development plan that would be holistic and all-embracing with tasks for each of the stakeholders, supported with in-depth performance indicators, he said. The erudite professor, however, said, as a researcher, we still need to do more work. This is just a drop in the ocean. There are still more fish species in our water body that we need to develop the culture package and bring on board for aquaculture to grow. And this will be my focus to invest on people to do this. There is still more work to be done. The 465th inaugural lecture had in attendance the Vice Chancellor, University of Ibadan, Professor Abel Iduwu Olainka, who led the management team of the Premier University, and also the chairman of the inaugural lecture, Professor Labodi Pupola, Vice Chancellor, Oshun State University, retired Major General Akin Bayroju, retired Air Commodore Salaudin, Emeritus Professor S.S. Ajayi, Emeritus Professor Longe, Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration, Professor K. O. Adebowale, Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, Professor A. B. E. Konla, Deputy Vice Chancellor Research, Innovation and Strategic Partnerships, Professor Olanike K. Adeemo, Professor Ayelari, former Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration, University of Ibadan, Deputy Provost, College of Medicine, Professor Obafunke O. Dean Louis, Deans and Provosts of the Postgraduate College, Deans of Faculties, Provost of the Postgraduate College.